Hey guys, welcome to Forza Motorsport 7. I'm going to take you through the entire quote unquote story mode for this game, as I have actually never even finished it myself. So I'm quite excited to do that. I think I've got to like the third cup, and I haven't done anything past that. So I'm excited, and I just want to say I'm super excited for the next motorsport game to come out. So I figured I would do this. And as you can see, I already have a couple of the DLC cars. So, yeah, I hope you guys will enjoy this, and let's get right into it. All right, time to start the Forza Drivers' Cup. The Forza Drivers' Cup the world's largest, most diverse, sanctioned motorsport series. For decades, it's drawn the racing world's best. To win, it will take speed, versatility, and adaptability. Spanning five continents and the world's most legendary circuits, only a few will climb to the top, where racing immortality awaits the winner. But first, step into the shoes of past winners and learn what it takes to win driving's top prize. So it looks like Speed. we'll be doing the tutorial. The defining element of racing. Speed is more than the miracles of engineering and design. It is drivers who embrace the pursuit of going ever faster. Last season's Cup winner, Michael Mueller, is one of those drivers. Known for bringing record-breaking cars to the track, he turned heads at the Dubai Invitational when he drove a car no one knew existed. all about the tutorial <laughs> which was way to skip it but there, I don't as far as I know there isn't so I guess we'll just have to deal with it get out of my way I'm sure this is what he did in the actual race I have already turned all the assists off so, braking assist, steering, all that is non existent. Goodbye. <clears throat> well, that hurt. Drift, come on, man. Is there only one lap, or do I have to do like an actual race and do all three laps? Because I don't see a lap counter anymore. Guys, I haven't played a simulation racer in so long. I've been sticking to Horizon over Motorsport because, you know, this is a single player game for the most part, where Horizon is like an open world multiplayer now, anyway. And I am playing, I'm playing this on my PC, but I am using a controller because racing games are not good with keyboard and mouse. I wish I had one of those, uh, 
the seats and wheels to like really get immersed into this. I might for the next games. The next Horizon and the next Motorsport. Okay. No, y'all stay back there. Man, if I turned on simulation damage, my tires would be gone. Goodbye. Okay, so it is only one lap. Versatility means becoming a master of any vehicle. To win the cup, drivers must be versatile, because they will not win with just one car, no matter how much speed they apply. Eh. At Mugello, Maria Rossi earned the series points lead, and eventually the Forza Drivers' Cup itself, by having the skill to drive something as unconventional as a racing truck to victory. I really hate this one. I hate these trucks. Now I know why it started me off in first person. Why are these guys going so slow? Jeez, I was getting the pit lane. my wall. Goodbye. Oh, right there's my mirror. It's a little camera. I guess that makes sense. I don't know how to drive these trucks. If I can keep from driving these trucks, I don't. I just don't do it. I do remember this track though. This is one of my favorite tracks from uh, Forza Motorsport 4. We don't need roads where we're going. We're in a truck. We can off-road this, right? How good is this truck at drifting? It said drift. Not very, okay. Glad to be done with the truck. Adaptability. Only the prepared will be able to cope with any change on the track. Cup legend Yukio Takagi is renowned for remaining focused 
even during a downpour. To win the Forza Drivers' Cup, drivers must adapt, because speed and versatility are nothing when no two laps are the same. I'm wearing a Corvette or a Viper. I'm wearing a four wheel drive, guys. Like me. I'm smart. Like the these guys. We know what's up. I mean, I'm sure this is how he actually won, right? By off roading his all wheel drive car. <laughs> the art of drifting in the rain. No. The art of racing in the rain. That's a good movie. You guys should go watch it. Racing in the rain. I thought it was gonna be a show about you know racing in the rain, so we went and see it in theaters, and it was not all about racing in the rain. But it was it was a very very good movie. It works, right? Can someone in the comments below enlighten me as to why the spoiler is backwards on these kind of cars? Like, what does that do? Like, what does that do differently than a normal spoiler, a normal lane? Like, there has to be a reason for it, right? I bet he did that at the end of the race, I'm sure. Now you've seen what it takes to win. Speed, versatility, and adaptability. Now... It's up to you. You're about to take part in the premier contest in all of racing. The Forza Drivers' Cup draws only the best. Yeah, it'll be a challenge. But when you lift that trophy, everyone will know you're the world's greatest driver. All right, then. Well, there's the tutorial. I think I'm going to leave this episode at just the tutorial, and then we'll get into the next cup, and then that'll be the next episode. So thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoy it. I know I'll be enjoying this in the coming days, and I hope to see you there. Until then, stay killing it.